Well, folks, it turns out, uh, even though I made a video earlier today, that we're talking about Echoes of Wisdom today anyways. And look, throughout this video, we'll show uh, the overview trailer. We'll show the new commercials. So you guys can have some, like, cool official stuff to look at for Echoes of Wisdom. But you guys read the title. You know what's up at this point. Yes, it's true. Echoes of Wisdom has leaked i initially was alerted to this while we were streaming indie mania and then i was checking over on x and saw some pretty big zelda content creator saying it had leaked but i wasn't sure about it so i messaged a few people i got sent a link i checked the link yes indeed it was the rom for echoes of wisdom it has officially leaked it is playable in emulators uh it, it is kind of frustrating looking at this game and as i said nothing you see in this video is leaked footage this is all stuff from nintendo but uh it, it's really frustrating having this continue to happen it's been happening uh not day one of switch but ever since day one of switch because uh the nintendo switch was hacked and it was hacked because they used off the shelf tegra x1 components that had a known vulnerability uh they later fix this vulnerability with a revision of the chip with the version 2 nintendo switch which came out at the same time as the nintendo switch Lite, and yeah those switches have also been hacked at this point in the switch's life and all systems get hacked the playstation 5 has been hacked now so has the xbox uh although the xbox you don't necessarily need to do it because you can just enter dev mode on that thing which is a really cool mode but the point is that uh it has leaked and there, there's a lot of implications when bigger games from Nintendo leak, things that make people worry. Uh, last fiscal quarter, roughly 60% of Nintendo's sales were digital, uh, about 50% for the calendar year. And when you look at that, and you, we see things get announced like the PlayStation 5 Pro uh, being an all-digital device, although you could obviously optionally, if you can find one, they're sold out. Uh, if you can, you know, buy a disk drive, you could turn it into physical for practically $100 more, especially after taxes. But what this is really showing is that there is advantages for console makers uh, to go in the all digital route. And it's not just that they maximize their revenue. They can also prevent game leaks like this. Uh, what was one game that Nintendo released first digitally that didn't leak? Metro Prime Remaster. That's right, Metro Prime Remastered was a shadow drop in a direct, and it was only available digitally. Yeah, later physically, but only available digitally at launch. And it would be really frustrating if right now Nintendo decides heading into Switch 2 that, yeah, we're going to have our big games come out, but we're going to do a digital first launch with a physical launch two to three weeks later because they want to avoid games leaking. Games leaking is just very, very, very unfortunate. And while Switch 2 it was is a custom designed chip and doesn't have the same vulnerabilities and should be relatively safe uh, in terms of, you know, leaks for the first couple of years it usually takes about a year to two years for a system to actually get hacked it is still one of the more frustrating parts and, and when i say hacked i'm not i don't want to crap on everyone involved in the hacking scene because not everyone involved in the hacking scene is involved in piracy and not everyone involved in the hacking scene is involved in leaking games it's just sort of a side effect of that you know that 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 particular industry where you hack and you modify and you do these cool things and maybe you create awesome uis and you're, you're doing all this really fun stuff uh maybe even side loading in games and like that's so cool but then there's always the bad faith actors that use that access to dump games online uh, and especially dump them before the game even comes out. Look, we all know all games get dumped online eventually, but it, it, it's it's extra annoying when we're talking about Echoes of Wisdom because it's two weeks early. Now, most of the time throughout the era, it's been a week or less early. Uh, but yeah, it's it's two weeks early. And you might go, well, well why does physical get attacked so much? Well, that's how it's leaking. A retailer gets copies of the game in that they're supposed to be selling or fulfill pre-orders and all of that. And somebody who works at the retailer basically jacks a game, takes it home, puts it in a hack switch and dumps it online. 
That's how it's been happening. It's been happening like that ever since 2017, and it hasn't stopped. Now, one could argue this hasn't necessarily hurt Nintendo's sales because Nintendo has sold the most amount of copies of games they've ever sold in a generation, uh, the most games on an individual platform in a generation, the most popular platform in terms of, you know, probably the most popular platform in terms of sales eventually, uh, definitely in terms of revenue made. So Nintendo has not necessarily been harmed personally by this stuff, their finances and the money making and everything that going well, but they do get harmed in controlling the narrative of their games before they come out. This is before reviews have come out. All we've had is a PAX West uh, preview and now to have the full game out there is, it, it's just kind of disappointing. And look, I'm not here to defend like multi-billion dollar companies. Nintendo is going to be just fine. This probably isn't going to hurt Echoes of Wisdom sales, but this is the kind of stuff that hurts fans because what happens is when games leak is, yes, someone's going to bum rush through the game and have this thing beat by tomorrow. It's just going to happen. And because of that, there's going to be footage and screenshots and all this stuff online that's going to have spoilers spread massively all over social media. And because of that, you might accidentally get spoiled. Now at our channel, here we have a huge problem when this happens because we're a news channel. And while we cover leaks and things about games, once a full game is leaked, we don't really do a lot of coverage anymore because anything we cover is superseded by the fact we already know the answers. So as an example, uh, during this, you know, five minute little thing they dropped today, there's these new echoes and we don't know what those new echoes do. Well, how can I faithfully sit here and speculate on what each of those echoes do when we already know the answer because there's people live streaming the game right now on certain platforms. Uh, how, how can I faithfully even speculate when we already know the answer? Cause here's what's going to happen. The moment I speculate on how this new echo is and what this new echo does all of a sudden, someone's going to go down in the comments below and just say, we know what it does, blah, 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 blah. And now you're spoiled on something Nintendo was never intending to put out there marketing-wise before the game came out. So game leaks really do massively hurt channels like mine because they do make me unable to faithfully speculate anymore on a game before release. It's not because I have a review copy myself. I do not. Maybe I'll get one day one. I don't know. I'll, I, I have a request in with Nintendo, but I, I it, it just hurts, man. It hurts me as a content creator. It hurts me as a fan uh, because, look, I'm going to know spoilers. It is what it is. You guys know I'm covering leaks and rumors all the time, so because of that, I'm going to see the headlines. I'm going to be spoiled. I'm going to see the footage. Uh, and you know what? For the most part, I'll be okay. Game spoilers have never actually ruined games for me. I wouldn't do what I do. As a content creator, if, if leaks and rumors ever hurt me as a gamer, uh, but it, it's still just disheartening because there are certain people that it does make the game a little bit less when we all are trying to experience it day one together as a community rather than having it all ruined for us before we even get there, having the whole story told to us, having everything happen uh, before we get there uh, it's one thing like if we say the story leaked and we put massive spoilers and we talk about a rumor about the story but now it, it wouldn't be a rumor we would just know what it is right so uh, in the end uh it's very unfortunate this is obviously my favorite franchise of all time it's not like i didn't expect this to happen i thought it was going to happen next week i was hoping that even if it did happen next week that maybe switch 2 could get announced and that would overshadow it all and make it you know not as headline worthy because hey we got something much bigger to talk about and people will kind of ignore the fact the game leaked and then we're all good but that's that's not the case the game's out there it's in the wild uh, now, I did say that I verified the ROM. Yes, that does mean I did download the ROM. Please, Nintendo, don't come after me. I was just verifying a story, all right? I, I, I feel like, you know, for integrity's sake, you can't just take people saying it leaks, saying it leaks, because it could be fake, could be viruses. No, it's the real thing. It's the real ROM. Uh, I have since deleted it. Don't ask me for download links. I'll never give download links. I won't distribute it privately. No, I'm not out here to break the law. Uh, this is just very disheartening. I just wanted to confirm the story. Uh, and so on we march. Uh, the sad thing is stuff like this, I do think is going to lead to Nintendo being much stricter with physical copies. Uh, we will have physical copies on Switch too, but how many of them are going to start being delayed physical copies, digital release first? I think we're going to start seeing that more often. Nintendo's already been experimenting with that on Switch. I feel like on Switch too, 
especially after that first initial two years, we're going to see a lot of digital first, physical later, and then eventually that becomes digital only, no physical at all. We know that's coming. This just makes it feel like it's going to come sooner than maybe we want it to. Anyways, folks, thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully you enjoyed the Echoes of Wisdom footage and the, the commercials and all that. Uh, you know, we can still share that stuff, but I can't speculate on it anymore. God, that sucks, man. So this might be the last Echoes of Wisdom video you see until we live stream the game the day it comes out. I guess review scores. We'll probably have a review score video as well. Damn. Some people ruin it for everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Catch you in the next video.